Hey guys, what is up? Well, it's raining cats and dogs here. Don't know if we heard that thunder or not. But that's going to be going on. Because it's thunder, lightning, rain. The whole shot. So, I'm basically going to cover some of the stuff that I said in my, you know, not preseason, but kind of just after the draft, before, you know, training camp and whatnot. Some predictions I made on how the Steelers can win Super Bowl 52. And I'm just going to go over that and how it's going so far. Because some things have happened. Some have yet to happen, but in the progress of, process of happening. So, because I don't want to put post notes up on the wall here. And that's the nice thing when I was at school. My desk. Was, and I had the right over it where I could put post-it notes. That was nice. So, yeah, goes that short. So the first thing, T.J. Watt starts by week ten. Check. He was starting week one. Okay, Juju Smith Schuster steps up as the number two wide receiver. And in my opinion, he has. He's kind of taken Martavis, Martavis Bryant's spot. He'll play the slot, but in my opinion, he's the number two guy. Okay, this one. Cam Sutton steps up as number two corner. And that would be behind uh, Artie Burns. Now, this was... Again, before really training camp or anything like that. So this was before... I mean, I never imagined the Browns would cut Joe Hayden. And that the Steelers would get him. And Cam Sutton would get hurt. Like, I didn't know any of this was going to happen. Also, I'm kind of noticing the lighting isn't really that great. Sorry, because I have a desk lamp there. I mean, let's see what this does. Hopefully that helps. I just turned my TV off. So, back to this. So, what we have is Cam's hurt, but now he's practicing, and he's probably going to come off IR. And that's a whole other issue of where does he fit, because you have, you know, Joe over here, Artie over here, Mike Hilton in the slot, and then you have Will Gay when they start playing Dime. What I think is going to happen is Cam's going to come and take that dime slot from Will Gay. But that's something entirely different. So obviously this didn't happen because he got hurt. Joe Hayden came in. Ross Cockrell got traded to the Giants. And that's it with that one. Uh, Sinkless Golson stays healthy. He didn't. He got hurt again and got cut. But his former teammate, Mike Hilton, has been playing great. Uh, Bud Dupree has eight or more sacks. So he currently has three. We're halfway through the season, so eight's not out of the realm of possibility. Uh, Le'Veon Bell stays healthy. So good. So, so, uh, <laughs> so far, so good. Wow. Okay. Win division and be the number one or number two seed. So, right now they're way ahead of the other AFC North teams. The Ravens and the Bengals both lost today. The Browns didn't play, just like the Steelers. They had a bye. Oh, and that's kind of why I wanted to do this. We're halfway through the season. They had a bye week. Might as well have something the Steelers, but got this awesome hat. Um... And that's so far so good. Because, like I said, they're way ahead of the other teams in the division. And they're actually the number one seed right now. Kansas City lost to the Cowboys today. So, yeah, right now as I'm recording this, um, the Raiders are playing the Dolphins. Had to think about that for a second. So... Right now they're the number one seed, New England's the number two, with I believe Kansas City being the number three seed. 
But hey, right now they're good. Okay. Break the bully's nose. This means beat New England. Now, they face New England, I believe, week 15. And that could be a turning point game where it's, you know, whoever wins this may very well get the number one seed. That might be the difference. Hell, if Kansas City gets their act together, that could be the difference between having a bye week and playing the wild card game. Uh, so that has yet to be seen. And then, if they were to break the bully's nose, make it to the Super Bowl, uh, they'd have to win the Super Bowl, obviously, and let Ben finish his career on top and retire into the sunset. Uh, so that would mean that everybody plays the best game of their careers. Uh, something I would like to add to this that I didn't have is about Ryan Shazier. He's having a defensive MVP season. He's having that kind of season right now. I'm very impressed. Um, I didn't see, you know, Mike Hilton coming on strong like he did. Didn't really expect that to happen. Um, let's see. What else, what else, what else, what else? Um, I thought Ben would play a little better than he has, honestly. Um, expected, I knew AB was going to be, you know, pretty much the best receiver this year, stat-wise and just overall. Um, offensive line could, could play, <clears throat> excuse me, could play a little better. Uh, secondary's playing pretty well, though Stafford did torch him. Ah, but it's kind of like, um, with the Bears and the Jags when the Steelers lost those two games. You don't let the quarterback throw. What are you supposed to do? Then the offense runs the football. The exact opposite with the Lions. When the Lions, when a team can't run the ball, they have to throw. And that's how Stafford lights you up for 400 yards. Actually, more than that, I think. Um, uh, so, secondary linebackers are playing well. TJ's played better than anyone probably could have expected. The D-line's playing well, though. Stefan Tewitt's gotten hurt a couple times, but Tyson Aluolo was filled in swimmingly for him. That was a nice free agency pickup. Uh, Vince Williams has played nice this year. I didn't really see that one coming. Uh, what else? I think that's it. So, if I had to give the Steelers season a grade, I'm kind of in that B plus, A minus range. Because they did lose to Jacksonville and Chicago. Now, they lost to Chicago with Mike Glennon, not with Mitch Trubisky. And that's something to note. But Jacksonville has played pretty well so um, this season. They just beat the Bengals today, I believe. Oh, that's right, because A.J. Green got into a fight with Jalen. Yeah, Green and Ramsey really got into it. And both of them got ejected, though honestly, I think A.J. Green should have been ejected. I don't know if they ejected Ramsey for that one shove. I didn't see him throw a single punch at A.J. Green. Not one. I saw AJ Green throw multiple punches at Jalen Ramsey, but I didn't see Ramsey throw any punches. So unless they ejected him for that shove, I don't know. Um, but I think AJ knew he was getting ejected. He, he's like, I, I punched Jalen, I'm out. Unless the refs don't catch you, but no. They ejected the both of them. Oh, maybe they didn't get the whole thing, so they just said, hey, toss them both. Um, wasn't watching it. I worked today. Um, so, really, a lot of this is going very well from my predictions. So, two, in my opinion, were correct. 
Well, one is correct. The other, in my opinion, is correct. TJ Watt starts by week 10. He's, he's already starting. He started week one, so that's a fact that I got that one right. And Juju stepped up, in my opinion, as the number two receiver. Especially that game against the Lions. That was, that was crazy. That 97-yard touchdown. I didn't think he was going to make it. I thought he was going to get caught. Now, Cam Sutton as the number two. Not happening. Yes. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Um, my sister went over to her boyfriend's house, and we can't get a hold of her. But let's get back to this. If my phone rings, I'll just, you know, do more editing. The power of editing! Anyway. Uh, where was I? So I went through all these, gave a couple extra tidbits. It's been a few minutes, so. Uh, and I was talking about players that were playing well that I didn't expect to and whatnot. <clears throat> Um, dang. So, yeah, I didn't expect the, the whole Joe Hayden thing. Um, defense as a whole is playing well, though I thought James, you know what, I thought James would play more. I really thought he would. More Thunder. Um, Brian Chazier is playing very well, like I said. Uh... James Conner, I thought they would give Bell a little more of a breather every now and then and use Conner and Watson more. Oh, so Watson, who saw that coming? I thought it was going to be Bell, Conner, and Niall Davis. But no, Watson. Um, so I didn't see that one coming. But I thought they would give Bell, a, you know, a a few less touches per game. Get Connor, get Watson in there to keep Bell healthy so that can stay on my job. <laughs> yeah, specifically so that can stay on my now. But, um, you know, Bell's just a huge part of the offense, and so is Antonio Brown. And to keep Bell healthy, he can't touch the ball 35 times a game. I know the Steelers you know, are starting to become the run-first offense, but it can't happen with Bell. Um, so, as a whole, I'm very pleased with how the season is going. Um, like I said, B plus, A minus. Um, pretty happy with the draft picks, because you got, you know, Watt and Juju, who are playing well. Obviously, you know, Sutton, what are you going to do? Um, Connor has done well in his few touches. Uh, let's see. Dobbs, I don't know how he's really doing. I mean, he hasn't been active for any games. I liked him in the preseason, if that means anything. He led that one um, game-winning drive against the Panthers, I believe. I think it was against the Panthers. And that was a nice drive. He ran it in, I believe, for a touchdown. Now, one thing that's interesting is that Dobbs did not have a quarterback coach at Tennessee. So, he is really learning the correct throwing motion. It's not like people are like, hey, you don't know how to throw a football. He knows how to throw a football. It's just, how can you throw it more accurately? How can you have that quicker release? So, that's some of the things he's working on. Um, Brian Allen made the roster, which I'm happy about. Um, the sixth round pick, the long snapper. He's not really on the team. Colin Holba. They ended up taking Kenny Galladay, I think that's his name. Um, so, the long snapper that they drafted is not even on the team. And Keon Adams, the seventh round pick, he's on IR. So... As a whole, the draft, I'd say it went well. All but one is on the team. Um, yeah, all but one of your eight. That, that's pretty good. Um, 
Demarcus Ayers wasn't able to make the roster, which I'm upset about, but I believe he's on the Patriots roster, or the Patriots practice squad, last I heard. Um, Kobe Hamilton got cut, like I thought he would. Uh, Justin Hunter was in the mix. He's Now, he's only played a couple games when, uh, I believe, Eli was hurt, and uh, when Martavis sat out that game for whining on social media. Um, so he hasn't really gotten many snaps at all. Uh, Darius Hayward Bay has continued his role on special teams and his occasional role as a receiver. I mean, Ben missed him wide open against the Lions. And even though that other pass to uh, Eli it hit Eli's hands. Ben could have thrown it just that little bit better, and Eli catches it guaranteed. While you should expect Eli to make that, or not expect, but expect that more times than not he's going to catch it. Ben could have thrown that better. Um, I think that's it. As a kind of a mid-season review. Hmm. Sorry about the yawn. I'm like yawning. So I'm trying to like hold it in. Like I said, it's it's gangly. It's quarter after nine, my time. Um, as a whole, I'm pleased with how the season is going. Um, I hope that they can continue uh, this streak that they have. I mean, they're six and two, and they do play the um, better half of football the second half of the year. I mean, they could probably go 12-4, and four, realistically at least, I would say. The one game I'm really worried about is the Patriots. Um, there's a chance they lose to the Titans because Mariota. Um, unless if Jacoby Brissett absolutely lights them up, I don't see the Colts as much of an issue. Uh, the Packers aren't much of an issue because Aaron Rodgers is hurt. Um, really, they don't play many great quarterbacks. Really, the only one really good quarterback they play is Brady. Now, don't get me wrong, they play decent ones. Brissett has looked good. They play F um, Joe Flacco. They play Andy Dalton. And those are two okay quarterbacks. I mean, okay to good. Not elite, but good. You're average. You're above average. Uh, Mariota, which worries me, like I said. Uh, let's see. Brady, Brissett, Brett Hundley with the Packers. Then you got your three games, a six in the division. Brady, Mariota, Hundley, Brissett, one, two, three, that's seven. I'm missing one, it's killing me. I have it on Twitter. Alright, you guys are going to watch me go on Twitter for a second. Phone's right next to me and unlocked. Okay, Twitter. Oh, by the way, go follow me on Twitter. At PitSteel26. Well, Pit underscore Steel26. Do, 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 do. Okay, Jacoby Percent, which I had. Marcus Mariota, who I had. Oh, that was it. Um, Brett Hundley. And not not talking about, oh, that was it for Mark. No. All right, named Mariota. Brett Hundley, Andy Dolan, Joe Flacco, Tom Brady, Tom Savage with the Texans. And Deshaun Kaiser. Let me talk about that for a second. So, um, you know, Deshaun Watson got hurt. And that really sucks because... Like, I was kind of looking forward to playing him just to see how he would do against the Steelers' defense. But for the purposes of winning that game, I'm kind of happy Savage is the quarterback. I'm kind of pissed it's under those circumstances where Watson tears his ACL non-contact in practice. Like, and he was having such a great year. He was leading or tied for the lead in NFL touchdown passes let alone all the rushing touchdowns he had. He was having a phenomenal year. 
Um, though he'll come back next year better than ever. I truly believe that. Um, so I think I'll, when the regular season's done, I'll make a full season review and a playoffs preview and all that stuff. But that's a few weeks from now. So that is it for this video. I'm going to do some editing between uh, when I was interrupted and this. And I'm going to go make more phone calls to find out where my sister is right now. Like, they're probably just, like, cuddling or something and have, are away from their phones. Um, so, if you guys like this video, please leave a like. Comment what, how on you think that the Steelers season has gone so far and what you think it will be at the end. Um, and if you're new to the show, please, guys, hit that subscribe button. I'm, the next thank you video is at 50. And I'm trying to get there. I really am. It's just between school, work, I find it hard to um, find time to record. And then the Wi-Fi at my house is crappy, so it takes forever to upload the video. So I'm probably going to be uploading this overnight. At either tonight or tomorrow, or tomorrow night. I don't know when I'm going to find the time to edit this. It's already almost 9.30. If I edit it today, I'll, I'll upload it overnight. If not, then you guys will see this, like, Tuesday morning. So you're either going to find this Monday morning or Tuesday morning. So, later, guys.